Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his guy, his guy is a bona fide beer knife So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. It feels like it's been a long time since I did a review out here on the couch in the living room. Anyways, doing a beer I got in a trade with uh, Ryan, better known as Stumpy Joe Jr. out in San Diego. This is the Alpine Beer Company Nelson. Um, it's an IPA even though it doesn't say it on there. Nice picture on the bottle. Let's see, it says, This golden IPA has the addition of rye to enhance the flavor profile and give it that something special. We use Nelson Sauvin hops from New Zealand, prized for their white wine fruity flavor. The scent of fresh grapefruit greets you each time you lift your glass. I love this. Drink Alpine Ale or go to bed. Uh, that's funny. And it's, a uh, 7% ABV, so I guess this is a single IPA, probably not a double. I'm using my uh, BC Boys The Mix-Up Tumbler. I haven't used this thing in a long time, so I thought I'd break that out. And also I'm using my Newcastle Brown Ale bottle opener, because uh, it's just a plain metal cap on here. And I want to use that opener before I send it off to Rob at Hopscene. So... See how this thing pours here. Very hazy. Oh yeah. Well, it's uh, it, it's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it's clear, so I can definitely see the camera through it. Um, it's a very dark color. It's like it's, it's like it should be a bright orange, like the label, but it's like the intensity's turned down or something. Um, only got about a one finger head on there. Probably gonna give it a better pour. It's a uh, off white kind of foamy. It definitely smells like West Coast. It's it's very floral and kind of grapefruity. It smells very juicy. It smells like uh, passion fruit juice or something. Uh, so it smells like breakfast juice. So I mean. Looks pretty good, smells pretty good, Let's see how it tastes. Oh. Yeah. The, you know, the front and the middle was a pretty typical West Coast style IPA. But on the finish and the aftertaste, like all of a sudden there's like this, like I said, juicy kind of flavor. You know, they made a point of saying on the label white wine, uh, fruity flavors. It is kind of like a white grape or, you know, like I said on the aroma, like a passion fruit. Um, you know, not like, like there's, okay, there's some grapefruit in there too, but I wouldn't really call it a citrusy IPA per se. No real hot bite to it, it's just kind of a general bitterness from start to finish. It's pretty easy on the palate. Um, it's a tad dry, but, you know, nothing obnoxious or anything. Very, very drinkable IPA here. Yeah, so far so good. Um, I, I still, like, at the end of each swig, when I get that little juicy, it's like juicy fruit gum. Like a little, like, almost like a squirt of, like, a fruit flavor you get, like, in a, in a, that kind of a gum. Or candy. Or, like, a fruit juice or something like that. Very, very interesting. Very unique. I don't think I've ever had an IPA with that particular flavor in it before. So, um... Yeah, uh, I still got a lot here and a lot here. I have uh, some spicy jambalaya on the stove, and I'm going to pair this with that, see how it goes. And we'll come back with my final thoughts on the Alpine Nelson. Oh, hey, I'm back finishing up the Alpine Nelson IPA. And as you can see, I got a nice bowl of spicy jambalaya here with a little bit of Parmesan cheese on it. I think it pairs, it pairs okay. I mean, you can never really go wrong with pairing an IPA with spicy food. 
even if it's like a weak IPA, or even a pale ale for that matter. Um, this isn't quite as bitter as I would prefer for this particular dish. This is more of an IPA just to have, just to have it, you know. Um, it's almost kind of refreshing because it has that nice juicy quality that we talked about before. Um, the white grape, the kind of passion fruit, very floral smell, kind of just a generic kind of floral palette. Um, real smooth drinkability. I noticed though that I, as I was, you know, sipping on it, the fruity quality started to get a little more sour. Because what started out as like fresh white grape is getting in kind of like, like almost like a sour white grape now. Um, you know, it's not, it, you know, the drinkability is pretty good. It's smooth, it's soft in the mouth. Hops don't linger very long here. It's just like a slight drying effect on the tongue after, you know, after you've swallowed it. But, um, you know, it's a it's a good beer. And I really like the the uniqueness to it. You know, instead it's made with these these hops from New Zealand, which as far as I know, I've never had before. So I, I, I like it. It's a good beer. I'm going to give it a fair grade of a 7, 7 out of 10. Um, you know, good. Nothing, nothing great about it, nothing bad about it. Um, far from a perfect beer, but far from a bad beer. So, yeah. Um, thanks again to Ryan, Stuffy Joe Jr., for sending this beer to me. I still got a few more beers that he sent me in the fridge. And uh, that does it for this episode of Chaz Beer Review. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. <laughs>